Gobekli Tepe, the oldest temple site in the world, is home to the Vulture Stone. The Vulture Stone was found at the site in Turkey and was covered in an ancient symbolic code. Researchers now believe that the code tells the tale of how a comet hit the Earth and changed the way humans lived forever. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological site at the top of a mountain ridge in what is now modern day Turkey. It is famous for its circles of massive T shaped stone pillars, which are dubbed the world's oldest known megaliths. Research Researchers at the University of Edinburgh have analyzed the carvings on the pillars, and they have come forward to say that the markings are related to star constellations. The carvings on the vulture stone at first looked like vultures, which is what got the stone its name. Upon closer investigation, it appears that the vultures are not vultures at all. They're actually astronomical symbols that represented constellations and a comet. The etchings suggest that there were several comets that struck the planet right around the time there was a mini ice age. This was around 11,000 BCE. Using computer programs, the Scientists pinpointed the exact places where the constellations would have been in the sky. In doing so, they found that the comet, which struck in 10950 BC, occurred at the same time that the temperature of the planet began to drop. This comet strike changed the entire course of human history, and civilization officially began. I say that because this was a pivotal point for humanity. Agriculture was now emerging, and so were the first Neolithic civilizations. Prior to the comet strike, there were huge fields of wheat and barley that allowed for nomadic hunters in the Middle East to settle and establish permanent base camps. Camps. After the comet hit, however, and the climate began to change, communities had to come together and find ways to maintain the crops. They did this through selective breeding and watering, so basically farming. As soon as farming began, the first towns and settlements began to pop up. Even though the comet did lead to a new way of living, it did not come without extensive loss of human life. One of the carvings depicts a headless man that is believed to indicate human disaster and much death. These findings were published in Mediterranean Archaeology and Archaeometry. Ok guys, it's time to respond to some comments. These were from our video 8 Mummies Unearthed from 3,500 Year Old Tomb. I asked you guys what your favorite Egyptian leader was in this video, and here were some of your responses. Rose Vampire said Cleopatra was fluent in 10 flipping languages. She was fluent in 9 languages, actually, including Greek, her native tongue, the languages of Medes, Parthians, Jews, Arabs, Syrians, and Ethiopians. Rainbow Sprinkle said my favorite leader is King Tut because it rhymes with butt, and I don't listen in social studies class, so that's all I know. Good enough. <laughs> the other Nick said, Hey Charlotte, I'm in America. That means I'm below you. Please don't throw a rock at me. I'm not sure that's how that works. Yeah, no, gravity doesn't work that way. If it did, I would. That is all for now. Thank you for watching IO, and I'll see you in another video.